Hi, I'm Tommy of Indie Tom Tips, and today I'm going to show you how to restore your old shutters without removing them from your house. You see this dull, chalky looking substrate on this piece of plastic? It can be made to look new again in just a few easy steps. And it's as simple as thoroughly cleaning the shutters and masking off around the shutters and using Krylon clear coat paint. So let's see what steps are needed to prepare the shutters prior to spraying on the clear coat paint. I found a real easy way to remove the dirt and debris from the vinyl shutters, and that's by mixing a one-third solution of bleach and two-thirds mixture of water. Spray a bleach and water solution mix onto the shutters and behind the shutters and onto the nearby vinyl siding. Rub the shutters with a cotton cloth or a brush and then rinse it off with a garden hose or pressure washer. Wipe down the shutters with a clean towel and permit the shutters and surrounding areas to dry for about an hour. Taping off and masking. Make sure you firm the tape down with your finger so it adheres properly to the house. Overlay the tape on the tape that you placed on the side earlier so it has something to adhere to. But here's the whole reason of using a clear coat spray. If you do get overspray on the house, it's okay because it's transparent. I use alcohol that's at least 70% isopropyl. I rub down the shutters and it removes fingerprints or residue, anything that leaves behind, some type of an oil, which would prevent your paint from sticking properly. It dries real quickly, as you can see. But before you begin spraying, read the back label of the can. Follow the directions. Shake the can thoroughly. You shake the can until you start to feel the paint moving inside the can. And then most importantly, when you start to hear the steel ball moving around inside. Once you hear the steel ball moving, shake it for an additional two minutes. It's a good idea to wear a mask. Some people think they can hold their breath. What happens is, is you wind up breathing this aerosol, gets in your lungs, gets in your eyes. I'm using a satin clear coat, which means it's kind of shiny, but not as shiny as gloss. Test the can by giving it two or three quick bursts. Okay, I'm gonna adjust the head horizontally. Spray and release. Spray and release. Spray the side. Spray, release. Spray, release. I'm not trying to coat it all in one shot. Keeping the wet edge. Now I'm going with the grain. Keep the spray can about six to eight inches away from the area that you are spraying. Applying too much paint at one time will cause it to run. If you're too far away, it will go on dry and be dull. All right, we're gonna let that dry and they're gonna move on to the other side. But in this instance, I'm not gonna use paper to protect the sides. Again, because I'm using a clear coat and it's like a semi-gloss, it's called a satin coat. If I get a little overspray on the sides, it won't matter because it's transparent. See, I'm staying real focused, real tight shooting in this area and there's virtually no overspray even on the tape. One of the beauties of using a clear coat. I'm going to adjust it horizontally. Hey, if you like this video, please share it with your friends. They you can see here, there's virtually no overspray even on that tape because I'm keeping it tight. And if there is ever spray, you don't see it on the house. Okay, these guys are done. I'm gonna let them dry. The pin over here, Ryan. There's the shutters that I did about five years ago. They've stood the test of time because I used the right paint. So here we are, we're done. It's been about 20 minutes and I removed the paper. It looks great. For less than a $6 investment, this Krylon clear coat satin paint saved me $40 so I didn't have to replace two shutters. 
I'm Tommy from Indie Tom Tips and keep an eye out for my next video when I'll show you how to build an awesome fire pit for less than $200. Thanks for watching.